Welcome back once again. Today we're going to be joining the pieces from the tutorial on our last video. Okay, I actually in my last video I cut the pieces for the cow sleeve and also for the richest skirt. Okay, we're going to be joining them together. So all we need is this, the fabric, and then I like I said earlier, I'm going to be using elastic for the ruches by the side. Okay, so you need elastic and then a zipper for the skirt. Okay. Now I went ahead to cut out a fabric, a different shade of fabric. Reason being that we're going to be we're going to be sewing joining these pieces together, but because of the colors on the fabric, we might not be able to see what I am doing closely. So I'm going to start off everything I'm going to do on this tutorial on this fabric and then replicate on this. That way you understand better, I hope. Okay, so let's get right into this. So first of all, I'm just going to make a freehand sketch of a basic skirt with this. Okay, we're assuming this is actually a basic skirt. I mean a long basic skirt, right? With the 20 inches le um, added length which we did on this fabric. So I'll just quickly um do this. Okay, so we're assuming this is a full length. So right here we have our skirt just like we have right here okay i want us to start off with the skirt just so we don't get confused so after the skirt we go on to the cut this top all right so we're taking this as the front piece and this as the back piece so i'm just going to slit these back pieces into two like this all right so we have this like so now the next thing we want to do like if you look closely at the picture the sides do not have a butterfly effect it doesn't have a butterfly effect okay it doesn't have a butterfly effect so what we want to do is place the front um, piece in this manner and then attach this to the sides okay we're going to be we're going to be joining the sides first on the main dress on the main fabric here we used one inch for the side seam allowance so we're going to be doing that on this right here so i'm going to be using a contrasting tray so that we can see what i'm doing closely so i'm going to go ahead to my machine sew up one inch side seam allowance by the size and then i'll show you what next to do okay if we can see this closely you find out that i've gone ahead to sew one inch by the side remember that i'm only using this just so we understand every procedure that we're going to follow on this will do that on the main dress i'm only doing this because this fabric has so many colors on it and you might not be able to see when i sew on it so basically probably i'll just have to open up later on but show you what it is so i've gone ahead to sew one inch by the side using the one inch side allowance and then if you notice here the zipper allowance right here is still open that's just so that you can have access to um work on the sides like i said earlier we're going to be making an elastic casing okay for this skirt by the sides for the ruches so i'm going to be making use of this side allowance right here for my elastic casing all right so what i need to do is just to fold over half of an inch or one one quarter inch in and then sew on it in this manner right in this manner just so i have a casing like this i hope you can see that i have to use a contrasting thread so that we can see clearly all right uh our elastic um, band right here is actually half inch um half inch elastic so that it can pass through the casing easily all right i hope you got that i'm going to take that again I actually made this miniature um, cut out just so that we understand what's happening here. So this right here is our front piece and this right here are two back pieces. Okay, our two back pieces. So I went ahead to just join the sides, all right, the sides using one inch allowance for, because we, left, we actually left one inch allowances on both sides. So I went ahead to do that and then we left our zipper allowance right here open just so we can have access to work on the side so the next thing i want to do right now is to fold over to make our elastic casing and that's almost all that we have to do right here so we're going to be making our casing in this manner okay i'm going to fold over this way just to get a casing like this i hope you can see that all right so i'll just go back to the machine make a casing for this side and also make a casing for the second side 
So if you're working directly on your fabric, you can as well go ahead to do that. In fact, you have to just do it on the fabric directly. I'm only doing this just for the tutorial sake so that you can understand, we can we can comprehend. And so I've gone ahead to sew using, I mean, I've gone ahead to make my elastic casing by the sides. All right. I hope this makes sense. All right. This is actually a miniature fabric, so it, it may not look like it's making sense because it's looking really small right here. Now, the reason why this is caving in is actually because of the hip and the waistline. Okay. But I've gone ahead to make casing. So you can sew either to the front or to the back, however way, but just make a casing that is neat. Then at this point now, we want to introduce our elastic casing. Now, remember, like for the main fabric, our um, initial um, skirt length was about 40 inches. Then we added 20 inches just to get the ruffles, as in um, the ridges rather, the ridges by the sides, okay? For excess fabric, we added 20 inches. But this time around that we're going to be using an elastic, we have to make this shorter. The reason is because the elastic stretches, okay? Now, out of your 40 inches length of skirt, we're going to reduce, I mean, we're going to, out of 40 inches, we're going to minus 10 from it. So our, our elastic should be about 30 inches about 28 to 30 inches but well, i'm going to be playing with 30 inches so let's say for this as if we have something like this uh the length of this elastic should be about somewhere around here okay what i'm going to be using is just this length right here so i'll just go ahead to cut this i'm going to do this just for one side okay so i'm just going to go ahead and um put this into one of the casing from the hem however where you can go from the waist okay so what you want to do is, once it passes in, you want to secure the end right here. So I'm just going to tack that down using a pin. So can we see what we have right here? So can you see what we have right here? You can see that the elastic has automatically helped us to make riches up this way. So we're going to put this aside and then move over to the main fabric. So I just had to do this so that we have an, an idea of what I'm trying to do, okay? Of what we're going to do. So here is our fabric, our main fabric, all right? This is actually, this is the waistline and the hip line, okay? So I'm just going to place my front piece I mean my back piece on this right here right side facing right side okay you can see that matches up right and then I'm going to do the same thing for this other part right here okay so I'm going to go ahead to my sewing machine right now and then sew up the sides with one inch sightseeing allowance just like we did on the miniature fabric right here so i'm going to go ahead to do that and then also make my casing for the elastic casing okay i've gone ahead to join the sides the back pieces to the center right here okay and i've made the the elastic casing also i hope you can see that okay this is actually the back and this is the front this right here is the seam i hope you can see that okay so i made the elastic casing this right here is where our elastic is going to be sitting okay so before i go ahead to put in fixing the elastic all right i want us to um stitch the back like go ahead to stitch the back the zip allowance area okay so i'm going to fold this over into two this way all right my hip line is about eight in inches down okay my zip allowance is also one inch allowance okay so i'm going to go down by eight inches and then from this eight inches mark i'm going to go straight down to the hem i'm going down to the hem without and like i said this doesn't have any slit at the back if you so desire you can as well go ahead to add a slit to the back sides right the, the back piece okay the back but for this, I'm not putting any slits whatsoever. So I'm going to be going down 8 inches from the zipper allowance and then I'll sew 1 inch to the hem and also go ahead to fix my zipper, okay? My zipper right here. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to come back so that we can fix the elastic into the casing. 
I've gone ahead to fix my zipper. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix my zipper right here. All right, so and um, I've joined the back, the zip allowance. All right, so the next thing I want to do right now is to bring in my elastic and then mark out I mean, cut out 30 inches, like I said. So I'm just going to do 30 inches. Okay, so I've cut out elastic for both sides. So each of them are 32 inches long. So the next thing I want to do right now is to fix them into the casing. Okay, and I'm going to do that from the hem. However, everywhere, anywhere you want to take that from, you're free to do so. So try as much as possible. Be careful not to pass your elastic in all through. So when you get to the tip of your elastic, you just want to tag it down. At the hem right there okay so I've gone ahead to put the elastic casing all right you can see the beautiful riches there this is looking so beautiful guys so the next thing we want to do right now is to tack all right the elastic I used was 30 inches I think that's okay for us that's okay so what the next thing I want to do right now is just to go ahead and hem the um, fold the hem with about half inch twice okay fold the hem with half inch twice in and then for the waist I'm just going to make um, a bias for the waistband all right just a bias to hold this down and then that will be all for the skirt we are done with the skirt I'm going to have to fix the zipper for it so I'll just go ahead and fix the bias all right for the waistband and then go ahead to fold the hem with half of an inch twice as in roll it roll it twice with half of an inch so we'll be moving on to the top okay this right here is the front piece of the top okay this is this right here is the front the good side sorry this right here is a good side okay so we want to place good sides facing good sides all right in this manner Want to do that just this way okay now we have this right here everything tallies except for the shoulder right here so remember we did our curl here with the um the front piece right here this right here is our shoulder okay this right here is our shoulder so i'm just going to fold place my shoulder this way or rather let's just go over to the sewing machine Okay, first things to do for the back sleeve and for the top. For the top, we're going to use a bias on the neck, the neckline. So you can either use a bias strip or you go ahead to make um, a facing for this. So but for this tutorial, I'm going to be making a bias, using a bias rather. So I'm going to go ahead and use a bias strip to turn my neckline. So I've turned the neckline with a bias strip right here okay and this is what i have all right this is what i have so i'm going to turn this to my front that's the front side right here okay and then i'm going to bring my front piece also facing front sides okay now um Now let's take this slow and steady. Now on the front sides, remember I said this part right here. This part right here is our shoulder slope. This right here is our shoulder joining. This is our shoulder joining. And this right here is for the cowl facing. Alright, this falls right into the blouse. Alright, so now what we're going to do is front side facing front side. You want to put this edge right here. Okay, we're going, you're just going to make a tiny notch right here. Okay, a tiny notch there. Then we place this together. Just as though you're placing the two shoulder together in this manner. Then the facing, you just fold it over to the back this way. Alright, hold three pieces together and then sew with half of an inch. Alright.
going to repeat this same process for the back okay now this is what we have right here neatly done okay this is our front and then this is our back piece okay this is what we have all right so we're going to do that for the other sleeve i hope you understand what i just did okay so we're going to take i'm going to take that slowly again all right so this right here this right here is a second shoulder all right and then this right here also is a show second shoulder remember front sides facing front sides of the front fabric okay now we want to make a tiny notch this way tiny notch of about half of an inch all right now we want to place them together this way all right just the two shoulders this way ensuring that the notch aligns with the side the end the tip of the back of neckline so you want to push this facing just to the back to give it a nice finishing all right so once you do that you hold that up with half of an inch and then you have a neat finish by the neckline So that's what we have. And our shoulder is done. So see how neatly that was that is it's looking. Okay. This is the other shoulder. So I'm just going to So that's what we have. Okay? See that? So the next thing we want to do is just to sew our side seam allowance and then remember we added we just used one inch for the side seam allowance so i'm just going to go ahead to sew once one inch for the side for once one inch for the side seam on both sides okay then i'm going to hem the lower part of the dress with about one inch also i had to sew the sides okay with one inch the both sides this way all right so the next thing for us to do now is to add or to fix in the sleeves all right but before we do that if you look closely the 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 facing of the cowl which is in front is popping out on the shoulder from the shoulder i mean out of the sleeve rather okay so what you want to do is trim what you have there so that you can easily fix in the sleeves for the sleeves i'm going to make an elastic casing at the hem right here for both sleeves all right then i'm going to join it also with one inch or half inch just so i have some ease and then i'm going to fix it on to this the blouse the top rather so i'm just going to do that and then show you what it looks like so if you've watched to this time i want to say thank you so much for watching thank you for all that you do thank you for subscribing if you're a newbie here kindly consider hitting the subscribe button i'm very sure you're going to love it here and i also want to welcome you to my youtube train join this beautiful family you're going to love it here so if you enjoyed what i did with this if you enjoyed this tutorial and if it was helpful kindly give it a thumbs up and also drop a comment